Hello everyone, my name's Eddie Liger. I'm one of the editors here at the Midwestern Marks Institute. And what you're about to watch is a video generated by artificial intelligence technology based on one of the articles that was published on our website, midwesternmarks.com. We've decided to launch an initiative using AI software to turn a lot of our written articles into video and audio form so that they're accessible to more people. Many of you have told me that you struggle reading and have asked for audiobooks to help. And while we want to encourage everyone to continue developing your reading skills, we also see the value in transforming a lot of our written content into video content so that more people will be able to access it. We know that artificial intelligence robot voice videos are notoriously known for spreading misinformation here on the internet, but all of our AI generated content has been edited by us and it's based on articles published on our website that we've edited and fact checked. If you want to learn more about any of the content in these videos, just click the link in the description to go to the articles that they're based on. Today's video is based on an excellent article from Carlos about the U.S. blockade on Cuba and its effects on the Cuban healthcare system. Enjoy! The U.S. blockade and its effects on Cuban medicine by Carlos Garrido. The Cuban healthcare system is internationally recognized as one of the best in the world. Despite the fact that the U.S. economic blockade limits the import of medicine and medical equipment to Cuba. U.S. official Lester Mallory said the goal of the blockade is to weaken Cuba economically by denying them money and supplies to induce hunger, desperation, and overthrow the government. In addition to enforcing the blockade, the U.S. has spent over $1 billion a year on political opposition groups and pro-capitalist propaganda. Despite this U.S. aggression, Cuba has achieved remarkable success in medicine. The 1959 revolution created a single, national, state-run health system. Programs were launched to enact universal education and healthcare, which went hand in hand. Cuba now has a surplus of doctors participating in internationalist missions to bring healthcare abroad. As Fidel Castro was fond of pointing out, the U.S. sends bombs around the world while Cuba sends doctors. Ultimately, the Cuban people remain committed to their revolutionary process and recognize the achievements of the revolution in the face of vicious U.S. imperialism.